Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about the inflation device, that what is an inflation device. Uh, there are two kinds of inflation devices from different companies. But before moving towards the video, let me clear one point here, that this procedure is totally a sterile procedure. So we are just going to deal it in non-sterile way for a time being because this video is just being made for an educational purpose. Otherwise, this whole procedure is a sterile procedure. So, what is an inflation device? Inflation device is a device that is used to inflate the coronary or the vascular balloons or to deploy the inflatable stents, not the self-expandable stents. So, this is how the inflation device looks like. As you can see, there are different sort of inflation devices. This one is from the different company and this one is from the other company. So in this video, we will let you know or we will talk about how to prepare and how to use the inflation device. To prepare the inflation device, there are two different sort of inflation devices. So I would just like to uh, show you one by one because there are different ways to operate these inflation devices. There's a piston. There's a piston, there is a pressure meter here, as the pressure is in, this is a long way, or tube extension, this is a three-way. A three-way is used for removing the air to make it fluid to fluid contact. So now, let me show you how to fill this inflation device. This procedure will be deal total in a sterile way. So we are using the water instead of contrast. So we are using water here just for the educational purpose. Press this piston or lock to unlock and fill it air free. Make sure do not take a lot of contrast in the inflation device itself because you will face a difficulty in inflating the balloons or balloon of the stunt. So this is how we fill it. Then after this see there is a potential air. So to remove the potential air, what you need to do, just move the head upright and rotate it. You can remove the air by this way. So once you remove the air, just try to tap it on the top. If there is any other potential air bubble, you can release it. Your inflation device is ready. The meter is on zero scale. Keep it aside. Now I'll show you how to use the other inflation as it has a different technique to fill the contrast. To fill the contrast in this inflation, first what you need to do, you need to unlock. Once you unlock, retract the piston. Now you can fill the contrast with this as the contrast is coming. Right? Same technique as before. Just move it upright. You can release the potential here. Then lock it. Once you lock it, now this inflation device is ready. So, now the question is how to use it. So we got the inflation devices ready. Now let's try to use this inflation device. This weight should be open towards the balloon. There are different techniques people are using. Some of them are just making it fluid to fluid, right? Or some of them are just directly con connecting it to the balloon. Once you just connect it to the balloon, usually the technique is stop cock here, the three-way stop cock is open towards the inflation device and the balloon now. Simply what you need to do, just press this lock and retract the piston. Now it will take all the potential air inside the line as well as the balloon. Right, the balloon is deflated. Now as you can see there is some air, so why inflating the balloon? when the balloon is inside the desired lesion or in the vessel and inflate the balloon what you need to do this is the wrong technique actually that we are using in this way inflating because it will take the potential air inside again and you cannot see under the axle the contrast so the best way is to keep the inflation device in this way unlock once you unlock now as you can see try to go clockwise on the meter it will start inflating and I will also show you the balloon as well. Let's suppose if you, the doctor wants you to go up to 6 ATM atmospheric pressure, ATM stands for atmospheric pressure, 
or doctor wants you to go to 8 or 10 or the desired atmospheric pressure. Now I will show you the balloon as well that with this pressure how the balloons look like. Now the balloon is inflated. To deflate this balloon with this inflation what you need to do press this lock and there will be a click sound track the piston and release the lock coming to zero and the balloon is deflated. If still there is contrast in the balloon what you can do you can two times retract the piston to release the potential air in the balloon. Now I will show you how to use it on other inflation. Now whereas this inflation is concerned how to use it. So as you know that we have already got it ready same as before we will attach it to the balloon side and this three way stop cock should be closed because they need to be open towards the inflation device and the balloon. Now how to use it, how to inflate this device. To operate this device first of all you need to lock. You need to lock. As you see after locking when you are going clockwise if the meter is going up it's showing you the atmospheric pressure. Let's suppose that the doctor wants you to the desired 10 of atmospheric pressure as you can see the balloon here as well. The balloon is inflating. To release, deflate the balloon, what you need to do, you need to unlock and retract the piston, then lock again. It was inflated, right? To deflate, what I need to do, I need to unlock, retract the piston and then lock. As you can see, there is a lock symbol here or sign here, there is unlock sign here, right? So now, in this way, I can disconnect. Now I have disconnected, now I need to get this inflation device ready again. So what I need to do, since it's locked, so I need to unlock again to release the potential air inside the inflation device. Alright, then rotate it to lock again and this device is ready again for the inflation. Thank you so much for watching this video.